Morning, 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 morning. All right, y'all. I'm feeling, well, y'all should know I'm feeling, uh, I'm actually feeling great because I'm off today. And I just got an excellent, excellent workout in. And wouldn't you know it, cows win, cows win, 35-17. Um, and the game wasn't really that close. Um, wasn't that close at all. Just got my jog in. And I got to thinking this morning, um, I started re-watching the game. And then I'm going to knock all of that film out and have some more topics to you guys. Um, listen, I appreciate the support. Like... 110, 120, 130 percent. Um, just seeing how you guys, you know, come up to me in public, show me love, man, that means a lot, yo. I was coaching my, my kids this weekend and I ran into about two people this weekend who, who knew me from the Cowboys and, and, and from the YouTube vibe. So that's cool, man. You know, we, 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 we just growing together, y'all. We just talking football together. We just learning together. And it's cool to see this team grow, this team get better. Um, and I don't think that I know it all, but when I'm saying this summer that Michael Gallup is T.O. and people are laughing at me, but then he goes out and he, he's high pointing the ball, has run after the catch, that long stride like a deer, um, you know, all those things, it's good to feel validated. And this is kind of why there was no panic in me when it came to if Zeke wanted to play or not. But I got a topic, all right? And I want your guys' opinion on this. Are the Cowboys, do the Cowboys have, and this geese, y'all. This geese is right here. Those things are crazy. Let me walk on the other side because they're not moving. They might have some, uh, might have some, uh, some kids over there. Ge geese are scary. I don't play with geese. I eat them before I play and walk, walk near them. Um, do the Cowboys have a top three receiving core? Um, because, you know, <laughs> you you look at the Giants and everybody, here's going to be the waffle. Well, the Giants aren't good, this, that, and the third. And that was part, listen, that was part of my game plan and that was part of my scouting report. You know, attack DeAndre Baker. He's a rookie, this, that, and the third. But watch this. Is Josh Norman good? Can he cover? What about Sidney Jones? Is he even playing? For Philly, what about Ron Darby? What about anybody on the Skins roster? How good are they as far as when it comes to covering people? How good do the Skins play pass defense? How good is their pass defense? Jonathan Allen got hurt yesterday. So just looking at my division, who has good personnel and who corners in this? I mean, excuse me, who, who covers and, and where are the good corners at in the division? So let's think about the division. Nobody. All right, they teams don't have enough to deal with what we want to deal with. I mean, to deal with what we want to do and how we want to put teams in stress. Now, the interesting thing is this cool little lake right here. Let me sit right here and knock out the rest of this video. Ooh, y'all, that workout was, listen, three miles. I run three miles like every three, four days. Um, not every three, four days. So I try to get in nine miles a week. So um, I try to do some, try to do some cardio, but. When I get back to this top, I think if not the best receiving core in the league, I would definitely argue to say top three. And I'll tell you why. Michael Gallup is an emerging star. He's, you know, he is, he is, he is going to be what Juju and A.B. could have been. But he doesn't have the, the ego. You hear him after the, after the game in his presser and, and, well, and, his, and his media availability and he's, He's 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 business. It's it's him and 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 it's and it's and it's and it's Dak, and he and he understands you know how he has to play for Dak, and you saw it last year. You really did. The problem was him and Dak just kind of weren't on the same. They were just a hair hair apart. Some of that has been fixed. The Ferrari is Amari Cooper, um, and you just don't know how a team like Oakland could be that silly. But that's their fault. That's their bad. And and look on this channel. I always go back to when I said. The Cowboys giving up a one for Amari Cooper was highway robbery. It was highway robbery. I thought that the Cowboys won that pick. Now you look at Oakland left with nothing. Um, the Cowboys have built this. And, and, and the gym and the key is going to be Randall Cobb because he looks sharp. Playing on this one-year rental, I think he wants to show that he can go somewhere and get some money. And by all means, Randall, uh, Randall Cobb, if you're going to stay healthy, 
you know, be my guest because the way that you want to attack teams is the middle of the, feet, uh, uh, of the field. You want to you wanna see how teams can guard the middle of the field. Um, a lot of teams have de decent corners, and when you're talking about the, usher, the upper echelon of the league, but a lot of teams don't have safety play, uh, linebacker play to where you're doing those, those shallow crosses and those digs and those, and those skinny posts and, 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 and running a player like Cobb who just knows those little areas to sit down in. A lot of players, a lot of teams rather, don't have the personnel to be able to cover that. So I, give, I just gave you Cobb, who's, you know, in this offense is going to be a top slot in the league. I just gave you Cooper, who from, to me he's a top five receiver in this league. Right now in this offense, Amari Cooper is a top five receiver. And I just gave you Gallup, who is going to be an emerging star. To me, in this window, that's, that's three of the, the, the best receiving receivers in this, in, this, in this league. I mean, you're going to give me the Patriots. Okay, cool. I got to see it, though. I got to see it. You know, the one thing I'll say about this whole A-B nonsense and this whole A-B waffle is you didn't see him in Oakland. He was a headache. Let's see. I mean, everybody, Bill Belichick, but there's something to be said about sometimes when things are too good to be true, they're never true. So let's. I, I just got to see it. I got to see A.B., just like I told people, you know, Odell, Juice, the whole nine in Cleveland, well, what do they do against Tennessee? They go out there and they get stomped. So, and you know, it's very early, but... I, I can speak on this because I cover this Cowboys team and, and I know this team and I know what they want to try to do and, and with Kellen Moore. Listen, and give Kellen Moore a lot of credit for just making things simple, all right? We're just going to run a simple RPO game and make you show your hand. Teams now can't stuff eight in the box or they're going to get torched. They don't have the personnel to guard us straight up. No team can just go out there and play man on us. They don't have the corners to. Let's look around the league. There's only probably one team who has the secondary top to bottom to just guard us straight up. That's probably the New England Patriots. Everybody else, if I look at their secondary, I can poke holes. San Diego has a good, I mean, I always say San Diego. Lord, 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 y'all. Uh, LA has a good secondary. The Rams, so-so, let's see how Taylor Rapp does. But I'm talking about the Chargers. They have a decent secondary, but no Derwin James, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but, you know, even, you know, you want to talk about one of my favorite corners, Marshawn Lattimore. Amari Cooper really kind of gave him the blues last year. So it'll be interesting to see how this Cowboys team comes together. But for my money, I'm going out on a limb, y'all. I like Dallas's receiving core. And if it's me, if they're not top one, I think for sure they're top three. Maybe you can give, maybe we can give, um, that crown in New England right now, and let's see how it looks with, with A.B. And if he wants to straighten up, I'm pretty sure he'll be on his best behavior for Bill Belichick. Wouldn't listen to Mike Tomlin, you know, black head coach. Wouldn't listen to him. Would, would show off all the antics in the world and do all this stuff in Facebook Live. And wouldn't listen to John Gruden, somebody who wanted to show his character. But he's going to go to New England, and he's going to be a model citizen. Watch what I tell you. But that's for another conversation. But maybe New England, maybe a couple others. Uh, Atlanta didn't really look too great. I like my Cowboys, y'all. I like Mike Gallup. It's just me. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I, I'm the only. I just said that Dak Prescott was a steal the day that we drafted him. Um, and even though I get mad at Dak, I still love the player because I've continued to see him grow. Um, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, y'all. It's your boy Foots as always. I'm going to rewatch this game. Oh, Sportscaster, y'all. Y'all see the logo in the side? Sportscaster, Sportscaster, Sportscaster. Make sure you guys go follow me. Come back, comment done. If you comment done, I'm going to give you my email address. All you got to do is send me your address, and then I'm going to email, I mean, excuse me, I'm going to mail you a free album. Come on, y'all. What's better than that? It's your boy, Foots the King. Hey.